I'm Linda from Bilates Body Blitz. Welcome to Matt Intervals Glutes. For today's workout, all you will need is a stability ball. We're going to be doing 10 rounds of 50 seconds of work with 10 seconds of rest. We're going to be flowing all the way through without any breaks, but if you need to take a break, just press pause and come back to us. There's no designated warm up as such, but the first couple of exercises are a bit easier, so you can use them as a warm up, or you can just do a quick jog or some sort of warm up and come back to us. Okay, when I press start, we've got a few seconds to set up the first exercise and then we're going to keep going all the way through. So, first of all, come into a kneeling position and place the ball behind your knee. You need to wedge it in there so it doesn't move, okay? So you need to position that and then wedge it in. I'm gonna be pressing start. So you want to make sure you're lining up your hands underneath your shoulders, your tummy's pulled in and all we're doing is up and down to start with, go now up and down. So you're locking that ball in using your heel, which means you're using your hamstring as well as your glute. You need to lift that ball as high as possible in order to engage that glute, okay? Otherwise, you're just gonna feel it on the hamstring. You're coming all the way up and down. You're never resting down at the bottom. You're breathing out at the up, in at the down. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. 20 seconds. Up, down, and up, down, and up. Keep going. Push out of the shoulders, don't slouch. 10 seconds to go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down for a second. We're gonna turn the knee out to the front this time. We're gonna press in for four, and then come down and up for two, okay? So press in at the top, one, Two, three, four, down, up, down, up. One, two, three, four, down, up, down, up. So you're keeping your leg approximately at a 45 degree angle, down, up. One, two, three, four, down, up, down, up. Your chest is still facing the floor. You're not turning out through the upper body. Down, up. Once you see the exercise, look at the mat. Don't crane your neck to look at me. Down, up, 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, down, up, down, up. Definitely feeling the hamstring, yes? Flex your foot here, 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, down, up. We're switching to the other side after this one. Five, four, three, two, and one. So quickly transition to the other side and we're repeating those two. Don't worry if you miss out on a few reps. Just wedge that in there. Come back into alignment and it's up and down, up and down. So make sure you are really squeezing on that ball with your heel. You're pushing out of the shoulders. Your tummy's pulled in, your back is flat. Don't go up so far that your back gets hyperextended, okay? You just wanna go up far enough to squeeze that glute at the top. 25, down, up. Blow out at the top, squeeze it. 17, 16. Starting off easy, it's gonna start adding up soon. 10 seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so remember we're turning out now, so our kneecap is coming approximately 45 degrees. Squeeze in four times, down, up, down, up. Okay? Ready, go now. One, two, three, four. Down, up on an angle, down, up. One, two, three, four. Down, up, you don't have to touch down as long as you come up as high as you can. That's the squeeze at the top, okay? One, two, three, four. Down, up, down, up. One, two, three, four. Down, up, down, up. One, two, three, four. 23 seconds. Keep squeezing, two, three, four. Down, up, down, up. We're gonna lie down on our tummies after this. Down, up, down, up, with our ball in between our shins. Down, up, down, up. One, two, three, four. Last time, down, up, down, up. Nice job. So lie down on your tummy, ball is in between your shins, and extend your legs fully, squeeze in, and we're gonna lift our legs up, squeezing our glutes, and back down. Lift up, 
and back down. Squeeze your glutes, hold for a split second at the top, and then back down. So you're squeezing, making a fist out of those glutes. You're also pushing in on that ball with your legs. So you're getting some bonus in the thigh. Try to keep your legs straight here. We're gonna be doing some bent leg in a second, in 23 seconds, 20 seconds. And blow out at the top. You're holding for a little split second there. That contraction is where the work is, so don't miss it. 10 seconds. Look down at the mat. Your neck has to be in nice alignment with your spine at all times. Four, three, two, one. Nice job. Now bend your legs. Make sure you've got a nice grip. You can flex your feet. And we're going to go up with a bent leg, okay? So breathe in and, and down. Up and down. So really simple move. But again, that hold. That isometric hold is where all the work is. Squeeze it. Blow out all the air and squeeze up as high as you can. I want to see space between your thighs and that mat. Okay, don't just rest your legs down. Tap down and push. Tap down and push. Okay, you need to create your own intensity here. 15 seconds. If it's not hard enough, add ankle weights. Do what it takes to challenge yourself. After this, we're going to put our back onto the ball and do some hip thrusts, okay? So quick transition. Four, three, two, one, okay. So ball, underneath your lower back, slide forward carefully, make sure your hips are off and you're coming up, squeezing down, up, squeeze. So you need to come down and then push your hips up. You're straightening out from your knee all the way up to your hip bone. You can put your head back if you like, or you can even put your hands by your head. It's up to you. I want to be able to look at you and the timer, so I've got my head up slightly, but I am focusing on putting the weight in my heels and squeezing up. My legs are about hip width apart at the moment, but we're going to change that in the next exercise. Down and breathe out at the top. Don't miss any of these reps. Don't take a rest here. This one's an easy one compared to the last one. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up. Now we're going to bring our legs closer together. We're going to come in, out, down, up, okay? So if you want to really get your inner thighs, go now, in, out, down, up. Then come really close together, down, up, in, out, down, up. I want you to squeeze your legs together as if there's a little squishy ball there and you're squeezing in, down, up, in, out, down, up. I want you to contract your glutes the entire time. I don't want you to just think about inner thighs here. I want you to push up as high as you can and as you push up, you make fists out of those glutes. Down, up, weight is in the heels. Up, in, out. Down, up, in, out. 12 seconds. Keep going, keep up the fast pace. That's gonna get your heart rate up. After this, we're gonna lie down on our backs and we're gonna roll out the ball, okay? Hamstring roll out. So lie down on your back. Your feet are on the ball and extend your legs. You can lie all the way down and in and out. It's in and out. The first few, you're gonna to have to get your balance and out. I need you to be high so you're squeezing your glutes, okay? Be high on that ball. In and out. So hamstrings are connected to your glutes, which means if you work your hamstrings, you're also going to get that tie-in area where you want some nice definition, okay? So we're going to be working hamstrings as well as glutes. Squeeze it. You're never lowering your butt. Keep it high. 10, 9, 8, 7. After this is the last exercise. We're just going to do glute bridge. So come down. Make sure you come a bit closer to the ball. We're just going to bridge up on that ball for the last exercise. Deep breath in. And bridge up. Come down. Tap. 
Bridge up, come down, tap. All the way up, down, tap. All the way up, down, tap. Straighten out from your hip bone to your knee. All the way up, down, tap. As high as you can, down, tap. 27 seconds, all the way up, down, tap. All the way up, down, tap. Are you feeling this in your hamstrings? If you push your heels into the ball, you will feel your hamstrings more, okay? 14 seconds, down, tap. Keep going. Nine, eight, seven, six. Keep breathing. Four, three, two, and done. Fantastic job. We're gonna stretch that hamstring out while we're down here. So that was short and sharp. Wasn't that bad, was it, really? 10 minutes, anyone can do it. Anyone can fit it into their day. If it wasn't enough on your glutes, rewind, do it again. Other leg in, ah, stretch that. Tight hamstrings. The ball is fantastic for working your hamstrings, especially those roll-ins. They are really good to get right in there. We're going to cross our leg over and then just roll the ball towards you and push away on that knee. Figure four stretch, really good for the outside of the glute and the outer thigh. And then just switch legs, push away. Because of the fast pace and the quick transitions, your heart rate definitely would have stayed up there. Also using your glutes, which is like one of the largest muscle groups in your body, is definitely going to help you keep your heart rate high and burn some calories. Come forward, so you've got your legs crossed. And now walk away from the side where your leg is in front. You should feel that more in the glute. And then switch which leg is on top. Lean forward. Try to keep your back flat here. You don't need to round down to get closer to the floor. You just want to keep your glute cheeks on the mat and back flat and then just reach. Nice work. We're just going to do a couple of cat cows with the ball because whenever you do those prone positions, you definitely, or where you're lying on your tummy, you definitely feel that in your back. So you want to roll it up and back down. Roll it up and down. One more time, all the way up and down. And that is it. Thanks so much for joining me for my mat interval glutes workout. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you at the next segment.